There's a bunch of cute little bats and a bunch of cute little moths. So, we're going to start the way we always do with measurements. You need a tape measure. A ruler will not work. You can use a string and then measure the string later with a ruler, but you need either a string or a tape measure for this part. You're going to need both chest and under chest. I'm taking under chest first, which is to say the rib cage down here. Take that measurement, remember it, lift your measuring tape up to the widest part of your chest, take an inhale, take that measurement, remember it, and now that you've got your chest and under chest measurements, you're going to need this size chart, which is currently coming up on your screen. Go ahead and pause the video here. There will also be a link to the size charts in the description. Find your size. If you're in between sizes and you're really not sure, take the bigger one. Trust me on this. If your size is in a gray box, that means you could probably benefit from a stiff insert, which may or may not happen in any of these off-the-rack binders. Got your size? Great. We're going to start with sizes 5 through 7 here on the rack. And first is a size 5 Selkie. This is one that we haven't made for the store in a while because it's been hard to get a hold of, but we've still got a few left in stock. It's a size 5, it's 12 inches long, it is number one on the rack. And it's got this nice silver on pale pink look to it. And it's also hollow, which means it does reflect rainbows, though I'm not sure how well the light is catching that. Here. That was number one. Number two is a solid black, size five and a half, uh, 16 inches long. It was a try-on binder back when we did events, which means that it has its size marked in Sharpie on the tag, and it's probably been worn and washed once or twice. It's solid black, and again, 16 inches long. That means it will go 16 inches from the top of the shoulder over the chest, down to the end. On me, 16 inches is about here. On a size 5.5, 16 inches will probably come down to your waist, roughly. Everyone's body is different. Here's number three on the rack. It's a mahogany mesh, which is something we definitely haven't been able to get in in a while. Size five and a half, length 16 inches again. Uh, the mesh means that there's two layers of mesh in the back and three layers of mesh in the front. It's more breathable than the non-mesh binders. It's a really nice, rich brown. I love this fabric. I wish we could get it back. Maybe someday. Number four on the rack is a lace binder, size five and three quarters length 18 inches. It's got a lower neck in the front than in the back. And it's got a zipper down the side and a stiff insert. So this is the first binder on the rack that has a stiff insert. For y'all who don't know, this is something that is really helpful if your chest measurement is five inches or more than your under chest measurement. It's a solid piece of Wove, flat woven elastic about eight inches wide that just goes across the front and with a side zipper it's still really easy to get into and out of that is clearix lace which is the white lace on black mesh i should probably say the prices of these things this one is 77 dollars though the prices are also listed on the website so definitely go there because i can only do so much information in the videos at a time Size five and three quarters, length 18 inches, side zipper, stiff insert. Now is number five, very similar. It's a size six, so just a little bit bigger than that. Uh, again, it's got a, a side zipper and a stiff insert. It's got a lower neck in the front than in the back. 
It is 17 inches long. And it is Bard's Lace, which is the teal lace on white mesh. Bard White is how we categorize this. I'm so glad we did the laces after D&D classes. It just makes sense to me. Number six. This one is called Shadow Phoenix because this nice phoenixy silhouette in front of all those flames with this wonderful ashy background. It is size six and six and a quarter, length 13 inches, and it's got a mesh back, which means it is much more breathable on the back than if it had the solid fabric there. Number six, Shadow Phoenix. Number seven is a Sassafras. Sassafras is one of our middle, middle, mid-range skin tones. I can talk. It is size six and a quarter and length of 16. This one also has a mesh back. It's white mesh this time. 16 inches long and that one is number seven. Ooh, this is a good one. Number eight, the ox skull. I love, I love when our layouts person gets a print like this because they always make the attempt to center it and really just bring it all out. Uh, this print is called Ox Skull Moon. It is size six and a half, 13 inches long. It does have a stiff insert. That's the front and it's just so good. And then on the back, that is what it looks like there. We have a number of skulls on the rack this time, and I just I really like this one. That was number eight, Ox Skull Moon. Number nine, an old friend, an old favorite, a worm. Size six and a half, length 13 inches. I just, I love this. I feel like the meme went by when I was just a little too old to really write it, but it keeps coming back and I adore it more and more each time. That is no stiff insert, size six and a half. Number nine, what is that? So here is number 10. Ooh, again, a custom print that I really, really enjoy. Uh, no Signal is the name of this one. It is size, hmm, it is size six and three quarters and 14 inches long. That's strange. Aha. These have been switched. Okay, I'll have to retag these. Sorry, no signal. Size six and three quarters, 13 inches long. And that's number 11. It has low neck and narrow straps. And I've swapped number 11 for number 10. I know this is number 11, no signal. 13 inches long, size six and three quarters. It's so good. I love the idea of just obscuring yourself until you cannot be perceived. Going back a bit, this one's number 10. It is the 90s party floor print. And as a, a child of Celebration Station and Discovery Zone, this just, this one takes me back. Size six and three quarters, length 14. It does have a stiff insert in the front. That was number 10, 90s party floor. Number 12 is called Celestial Alchemy Zodiac because there's just a lot going on here. Size seven. 14 inches long. You can see there's a Ouija board planchette and a Luna moth and uh, there's something here that looks either alchemical or planetary or both and there's something here that I can... I don't even know how to parse a lot of this. Most of it really. I think it's really neat but there's 
And look, there's even more happening on the back here. This is definitely star slash planetary charts, I guess. And then there's moon phases. I think it's great. I adore it. I don't understand half of it. Celestial Alchemy Zodiac, number 12, size 7, 14 inches long. Number 13 is a quick snilver. This is the silver snakeskin print, size 7, 14 inches long, and it's got a mesh back, so it's nice and breathable. I really like this one. This is one of the prints that we may never get back again. So I hope that someone gets it and loves it. <sighs> Number 14 is a black mesh binder. Straight up functional. It's got a stiff insert in the front, two layers of mesh in the back, three layers in the front, size seven, length 16 inches. Number 15 is a maple binder. Maple is just a little bit, tiny bit lighter than sassafras. I will also link to the uh, skin tone color reference in the description because I don't think this camera plus YouTube will do a lot to distinguish between maple and sassafras. Let me see. Yeah, they're pretty similar on this camera. Maple, it's a little bit lighter, it's a little bit cooler, I think, it's fair to say. Size seven, 15 inches long, and this one has a side zipper along with its stiff insert. It's always nice when we can combine those two because the stiff insert does a really nice job of binding and also makes it harder to pull on. So having a zipper, I think, really helps with that. That was number 15. Number 16 is another ox skull moon. And again, our layouts person did such a great job centering it and just putting it right there in the middle. And this one also got centered on the back. Sometimes fabric works out that way. It's size seven and a quarter and it's 16 inches long. So it's a bit longer than the other one, which you can see because it the pattern repeats. I love this so much. Number 17 is a functional white mesh binder. Size seven and a quarter, length 13 inches, and it's got a side zipper. Let's see if I can make the camera actually show it off. Yeah, there we go. A really good, simple crop top. Goes down 13 inches. Number 18 is another one of these great prints. This one is called Marbled with Gold because it's got this really lovely marbling. Uh, Spoonflower cannot do actual reflective fabric, but the way that the light and the shading is printed on this makes it look gold anyways, which I think is really impressive. It's size seven and a half, and it's 16 inches long. And this is the front, and that's the back. It reminds me of the, oh gosh, the, uh, the fifth season N.K. Jemisin's uh, trilogy about, among many other things, about rocks and magic and geomagic and about people being rocks turning into rocks having interesting relationships with the stones that make up our earth if you know about nk jemison and the fifth season you know and if you don't you should you should read it it's good was it the broken earth trilogy the fifth season that's, that's my book rec for the day. 
Number 19 uh, is a wood grain print, which I also adore. I love it when there's fabric that makes it look like other materials. Uh, size seven and a half, length 14 inches, and it has a stiff insert. This is the front, this is the back. Here's the wood grain. And that was number 19. Here's number 20, Luna Moss. Size seven and a half, 14 inches long. It's got a stiff insert in it. And it's also just really nice. Moths are cool. This is the front. And this is the back. I love when someone orders a black and white print like this because you can get any and every color you want on Spoon Flowers. So when you order a black and white print, I know you really mean it. And it's great. Number 21 is a uh, Ranger Lace. Ranger being our name for the maroon color that uh, is currently layered on black. Size seven and a half, 17 inches long, and it's got a side zipper. There we go. Ooh, this one's fun. Number 22, Rainbow Dragons. So this print on Spoonflower, I have seen gone through in a number of different colorways. This is a size seven and a half binder, by the way, 14 inches long. And the colorway that I remember most vividly was all of the dragons were teal and their fire was bright red and orange and it was on a white background and I love that one so much, and I remember making it and just thinking, I really, really need to know who designed this and also who's getting it, because I want to be their friends. And what I ended up doing was just making one for myself. And then the designer came out for one, came out with one in rainbow, and it's even better. I just love it. Size so seven and a half. 14 inches long. Here's the front. Here's the back. It's rainbow dragons! And it's really good dragons. This feels like good dragon design. About which I have a lot of opinions because I was really into Dragon Riders of Pern as a kid. Oops. Number 23. Speaking of dragons, number 23 is the hidden dragon print. It's size seven and three quarters, 14 inches long. This is the back. And this is the front. I really like the color scheme of this. The dark, dark blues in the back and the orangey pinks all splashed across it. It's an extremely bold set of choices, and I enjoy it very much. And it also feels right to have that kind of boldness in a in a menacing binder that just has the claws ready to come out. That's number 23. Number 24, Bats and Moths. There's a bunch of cute little bats and a bunch of cute little moths. It is size seven and three quarters and 15 inches long and it has a stiff insert. This is the front. They've got a nice little fern motif, fern and flower motif that kind of puts me in mind of Animal Crossing. Just really enjoy it. I grew up in Austin, Texas, so I uh, got the affinity for cute bats at an early age. And that's it. That's the end of size sizes five through seven because this is the last seven and three quarters. I'm gonna take a little break and have some water and I'll see you in a bit to start with size eight.